Finally, he knows what the ta'wil of the ru'ya was. The interpretation of the dream was. Okay, how many parts did I say again? Twelve. Now listen carefully. Part one, he sees... Baby, you know, no one. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something specific that you guys want us to react to, drop us a link below, and we'll actually do it for you guys we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly um content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations that we've put out there you guys can check it out you can find us on itunes spotify podbean this channel or our second youtube channel and just enjoy enjoy everything that we're putting out as much as we do we've got a patreon and you guys can feel free to become members and um we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting sharing and giving us stuff to do we appreciate each one of you guys so thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed I do things on my own as well. I write. You can check out my two blogs. I'll try to link them somewhere on the community section or under this in the description box. And you guys can just check it out. So if you love poetry or short stories, I'm your girl. You can check out my work. You can also follow me on Instagram, Safani so L. I post short stories there. And you can just enjoy whatever I'm putting out there. So a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to the miracle of Surah Yusuf, Linguistic Miracle, subtitled. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The story of Yusuf alayhi salam can be broken up into 12 parts. If you know the story, you can easily, as it is in Surah Yusuf, you can break it up into 12 parts. I'll tell you why I'm telling you this. When I was in college, before I was even interested in Islam, I took a course called World Literature. And in that course, we studied some parts of Plato's Republic, Aristotle. We even studied actually the Communist Manifesto. We read some things from the Confucius. We read some things from the Bible. We read something from the Quran. And at the time, I didn't know any Arabic. When we took this course, one of our homework assignments was to compare the story of Joseph in the Bible to the story of Yusuf salam in the Quran. That was a homework assignment. And the only thing I had was the translation. Now I'll tell you what happened at the end of that homework assignment later, but let's go back to this. How many parts did I say the story has? Ah, what surah number is it? Anyone know? 12. Surah number 12 has 12 parts. Interestingly. Anyway, here's the first part. Yusuf alayhi salam sees a dream. The second part. His brothers make a plan against him. The third part, and by the way, the plan succeeds and he's taken away from his family, you know what happens. The third major part, the wife of the minister tries to seduce Yusuf salam, the test that he was put through. So the first part was the dream, the second was the brothers, the third was the wife of the minister, the fourth one was when she called the ladies. She called all of the ladies and they also fell in and they, you know, did what they did with the knife. They weren't very good with knives. And then the fifth part, Yusuf salam, ended up in jail. You guys know that part? Right, he was falsely accused and he went in jail. The sixth part is when the king had a dream and he couldn't figure out what the dream means. What kind of animal did he see in the dream? Call it out loud. Huh? A cow. Very good. That's, that's a very loud cow over there. Okay. Now, the seventh part is that the dream that he had gets interpreted by Yusuf alayhi salam. So he doesn't know what to do with the dream. They send for Yusuf alayhi salam. He interprets the dream. The eighth part is Yusuf alayhi salam is released from prison. He gets out of prison. The ninth part is the women, remember those ladies with the knives? They confess. They admit that they did something wrong. The tenth part, the wife of the minister also confesses. The eleventh part, the brothers learn their lesson. You know the brothers who put him in the well in the beginning? Now we're in part eleven and they learn their lesson. Final part, part twelve, the dream of Yusuf alayhi salam gets interpreted. 
Finally, he knows what the ta'wil of the ru'ya was. The interpretation of the dream was. Okay, how many parts did I say again? Twelve. Now listen carefully. Part one, he sees a dream. Part twelve, the dream gets interpreted. Part two, the brothers make a scheme against him. Part eleven, backwards, the brothers learn their lesson and they ask for forgiveness. Part three, the wife of the minister tries to scheme against Yusuf. Part 10, going backwards, the wife confesses that she was wrong. Part 4, the ladies tried to seduce or say something about Yusuf alayhi salam. Part 9, the ladies confess. Part 5, Yusuf alayhi salam goes to jail. Going backwards, part 8, Yusuf alayhi salam is released from prison. Part 6, the king sees a dream. Part 7, the king's dream is interpreted. This is not a book. It was a speech. There was no editing. There was no, here are the 12 parts. Let's put part 1 and part 12, part 2 and part 11, part 3 and part 10. It wasn't like that. It was given as a surah. The Rasul ﷺ recited it. And just in that recitation, it has this perfect symmetry. Subhanallah, ma ajaba had al kalam. Actually, thought the video would go on and on. I wish it was longer. I really enjoyed the lesson. Um, I really have nothing to say. Like, like he said, it's just mind blowing how one and two go together. Or each verse is it a verse? Do you call them verses? Each verse is the opposite of what happened in the earlier thing. It's just I don't think. Like he said, it's not like they made this up. It's by God's order that this event happened. I really enjoyed this. Really don't have much to say. It's, it's, it speaks for itself. Let me know what you guys think. If you've got something to say about this, maybe I'm interpreting things wrong, but then you don't have to agree with me. You can always interpret things in your own way. And your opinion is, will be, is welcome and will be respected. And let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.